Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Nur Suzana Farisha binti Sukri. My metric number is 053560 and I am from Tesel Fossi. So today our group will be presenting about our research proposal entitled The Positive Impacts of YouTube in Improving Students' Oral Communication Skills. So I will begin this presentation with chapter 1 which is Introduction. This chapter aims to introduce the background of the study, the problem statement, the research objective, the research questions, the significance of the study and the scope and limitation of the study. This study aims to investigate the positive impacts of YouTube in improving students' oral communication skills. Assalamualaikum, my name is Sharifah Shazni Binti Sayabadri and my mentor number is 053537. So I'm going to continue the presentation with my part which is background of the study. So um, this study is about how are we going to use YouTube as um, a medium for the students to improve their oral communication skills. And as we all know YouTube is used as entertainment and also for people sharing their video and contents in YouTube. Uh, apart from that, um, we can also use this platform as um, students in TESOL course to improve their oral communication skills because there are many um, tutors, uh, English teachers and um, personal teachers who posted uh, tips, um, methods to learn English that can help them in their oral communication skills. Um, next, um, their, their point in sharing the uh, input can be attractive because students can be bored by just uh, by just learning it by themselves instead of watching videos, right? And so, by using these videos in YouTube, they can be more. Um, it can be. It can attract them to learn more and know more about how to um, perform well in their classes by speaking in English. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Sarah Noain binti Muhammad Saiful Nazim Iskandar My metric number is 05589 So I will continue the presentation with problem statement Okay, so people nowadays watch video at YouTube for entertainment But YouTube also can be used as an engaging learning tool It is because YouTube helps learners in understanding complex concept by explaining it with videos and illustration in an easier way so students need to know how to maximize the usage of YouTube to help them in improving their oral communication skills however YouTube also has it disadvantages that may distract students for their studies furthermore in the studies we will investigate the positive impact that can be achieved by using YouTube in order to help students with their study. Uh, next is learning objectives. So this research um, focuses on providing the suitable sources that can be used to help them with their oral skills. And then to the next one is to develop an effective way of learning using this platform in their new way um, drilling. Okay. The next objective is to increase the number of students who can speak English fluently by using this website which is YouTube. Okay, moving on to the next part, research question. We use two questions in this research. The first one, what effect does daily use of YouTube have on the attention span of the university student? Second, how does YouTube help students in enhancing their oral communication skills in English?
Assalamualaikum. My name is Putri Alia Binti Abdul Rahman. My matrix number is 053463 and I'm from Tessel 4C. So now, let me tell you something about the significance of the study that will read down the benefit of YouTube that plays an important role in developing effective oral communication skill. So, uh, by taking the questionnaire, the students will express their opinion and how they actually study through YouTube which will benefit them to excel in their oral communication. As um, stated by Sharifah Shazlin at the beginning of the video, one of the learning objectives is to provide suitable sources that can be used uh, to help them with their oral communication skills. So, um, this work will provide a perspective which about YouTube functionality in student life. So um, I think that's all for me. Thank you. Move on to the next part which is the scope and limitation of the study. This study is about the positive impacts of YouTube in improving students' oral communication skill which is related to the students as students nowadays spend most of their time on social media. TESOL students from UKM UM and UATM Puncha Alam will be a part of the participant in this research. Besides, the participants of this research are only limited to the bachelor's degree TESOL students from UKM, UM and UITM Puncha Alam that consists both male and female. Uh, so for the next um, point which is theoretical framework, I think the um, one theory that I can relate with our study is that Mayer's um, Cognitive Theory of Multimedia Learning CTML because um, Mayer's Cognitive Theory of Multimedia Learning presents that the idea uh, that the brain does not interpret a multimedia presentation of words, pictures and auditory information so our brain works well when there's so, when there's some colors, pictures, or visual visuals, um, visual materials. So our students can learn better in, when they watch videos, and I think this theory can relate with our uh, study. So next, chapter 2, related studies. Okay, so in this study, we use two studies that have been held by Burke and Rania Kaboha and Tariq Elias. So according to the study by Burke 2019, he mentioned about the benefit that learners can gain regarding why videos should be implemented in teaching and learning. Okay, he also mentioned about 20 potential learning outcome to ponder okay, two of the learning outcome uh, videos have a potential grab to uh, potential to grab students attention second uh, it can generate their interest in class okay. so next is the study by Rania Kaboha and Tari Elias 2015 okay, they mentioned that YouTube should be considered as an important learning tool uh, it because uh, they found a research that show significant finding that encourage the implementation of YouTube videos in education. As it is a big resource that offers video in all phase of knowledge that can be accessed in any minute. So it makes them suitable for the constricted classroom time. So that's all from me. Okay, now I will present uh, the methodology part. Uh, so I will cover on the setting and population, and the rest will be presented by Susanna. Uh, so um, we decided we have decided to choose three uh, Malaysian public universities, namely University of Malaya (UM). Uh, you, the National University of Malaysia UKM and UITM Puncha Alam to help with uh, the survey. Um, moreover, the students are from Bachelor of Education with honest TESOL which definitely need to proficient in oral communication as they will be teaching and have 
um, their own students soon. Uh, back to the setting, we choose um, three different universities. It's because to find the accurate reasons on YouTube advantages. Different universities might have a um, different way in teaching their students. So uh, they might have a different perspective uh, in using YouTube as an essential tools in improving uh, their oral communication skills. Okay, um, overall, there are 20 students that will be doing uh, the survey. Six students from UM, seven students from UKM and UITM Puncha Alam. So, um, I did just like to mention that we will be using non-random sampling for uh, the questionnaire. Since um, we have a very small population to work with, we think that uh, non-random sampling is easier to use and cost-effective. Yeah, so I think uh, that's all I have to say about setting and population in our research. Uh, that's all from me. Thank you. Next is the instrumentation. The research instrument used in the study is a set of questionnaires administrated to some TESOL students in UKM, UM, and UITM Puncha Alam. This questionnaire is used to obtain relevant information regarding the positive impacts of YouTube in improving students' oral communication skills. This questionnaire consists of two sections, which is section 1 consists of the personal background of the respondent and section 2 consists of the multiple choice questions. Next, the procedures of this study. The qualification for the respondent is they need to be TESOL students from UKM, UM and UITM Puncha Alam. Also, the researchers will conduct the survey to 20 TESOL students from UKM, UM and UITM Puncha Alam for the study of positive impacts of YouTube in improving students' oral communication skill. The respondents will be given ample time to answer the questionnaire. Next, move on to the data collection. The questionnaire will be distributed to the 20 TESOL students from UKM, UM and UITM Puncha Alam through online platforms. A link will be provided for them to answer the questionnaire. The researchers will distribute the link via online platforms such as WhatsApp and Telegram. Next is the data analysis. The data that the researchers collect from the participant, which are the questionnaire, will be analyzed in cross-tabulation or also known as the contingency table or cross-tabs. Next is the ethical consideration. The ethical issue is one of the important things that need to be considered before conducting a research because it involves the privacy of the participant in sharing their personal lives. In this context, the researchers need to keep participants' answer private. By doing this survey, the researchers can conclude what are the positive impacts of YouTube in improving students' oral communication skills.